what is the best way to see the Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument? Simple. Go to the park, get out of your car, and explore. That's what four Mainers did last fall. They took cameras with them to chronicle their trip. The result is a short film called Monumental that takes us inside the beauty of Katahdin Woods and Waters. We talked to those four filmmakers, Jamie Walter, Chris Shane, Kate Borgo, and Taylor Walker, about the trip they took and the story they tell. Well, the idea was really just to do a circumnavigation of the entire monument. So we would canoe down the Penobscot River, the East Branch, and then bike down the Katahdin Loop Road, and then hike up back to where we started, up to the uh, International Appalachian Trail. And how many miles in all did you cover, Kate? Um. I can tell you, I can answer <laughs> that question. You covered 64 <laughs> miles. <laughs> uh, 22 by canoe, 21 by bike, 21 hiking. What was your favorite part? Hiking. Hiking? That's Why? what I'm best at. <laughs> um, but I also really like the canoe part because that was really new for me. Taylor, the, the story starts with you guys out in the canoes, and I think you spent three days canoeing on the east branch of the Penobscot. What was that experience like? It's incredible, honestly. It's a beautiful stretch of river. Um, you know, there's some big waterfalls and some big rapids, and there's some, uh, there's some pretty hefty portages, too, so it really packs in a full punch. <laughs> Jamie, you guys did this in September, pretty time of year in Maine. What is extraordinary is how vacant the park was. How many people did you guys run into in five days and 64 miles in Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument? We only saw two people while we were out there and it uh, really drove home the fact that this park is just a beautiful piece of land that more people should go and experience because it just gives you such a remote and uh, authentic wilderness experience while you're there. Did you guys say to yourselves after about day three, where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, a couple times. Um, you know the history of the, of the park, just to refresh people's memories. President Obama created it uh, through an executive order in 2016. You guys went in October or se September of 2017, and you did not want to make a political film. You didn't want to get into the controversy that has surrounded the creation of the park. Why did you not want to do that? Well, we just don't think that people have been talking about why it was created in the first place, which is to protect this beautiful place of land, piece of land. So. We wanted to just go there and just see it, experience it, and, and document it, and then come home and, and share that experience with everyone. The pictures are beautiful. They tell a lot of the story, but you wrote the narration, Kate. What did you want to try to convey in the narration? Um, we just wanted to really show and tell how beautiful Maine is. We all grew up in Maine, and um, I think it was really special because Maine means a lot to all of us. This is a shot of you uh, portaging, and <laughs> uh, you make it clear in the film that this was not something that you jumped into with great gusto. How did that work out? Um, it worked out pretty well. Um, I was pretty nervous about it, but these guys, you know, cheered me on and helped me learn how to portage. You guys all knew that this is a beautiful piece of country, but what was it like to actually spend five days there and just soak it all up? It's amazing. I mean, night skies like you couldn't imagine and just, you know, we saw two people. It's just, it's wild, wild country and it's beautiful and it really, it was a good, it was a good way to spend some time with your friends in the woods and... In terms of photography, because you guys all have uh, backgrounds in photography, videography, both, so you're always looking for the right image, trying to capture things that would make for a good film. How did that work out? Did that slow you down? Did that, did that turn something that was meant to be fun? Uh, to a large degree into work or, or, or just what kind of impact did that have? Uh, it definitely slowed us down a little bit. You know, we were all really excited about shooting stuff. All four of us have our own cameras in hand on the trip. Um, so we all, whenever a good moment came around, the right light was there. We all stopped and would, and would take a shot and uh, make it happen. Um, but I think we knew the right moments that we were looking for and we were able to make good time when we knew the light wasn't perfect and, and you know, beat feet when we knew that we wanted to get to a certain opportunity before dark um, when the light would ri was right to uh, take advantage of those good moments. So a collaborative effort, we really worked well together in that aspect because we all were on the same page. All four of you love the outdoors, that's a given. You were all born and raised in Maine, which is kind of interesting. Had any of you spent a significant or even any amount of time in that part of the state? It was only Taylor. So he was yeah. basically our guide for the entire time. Yeah, I lived in the Katahdin, Katahdin region for the last four or five summers. Um, and I've spent a good deal of time on that land photographing the sky and I'd done two trips on the East Branch prior to this one, but to have the opportunity to go up there and really, you know, try to showcase how special that place is was incredible. A lot of people don't know it. They may know about Baxter State Park, they may know about Katahdin, but they don't know about the area east of it, which is now Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument. 
what would you say to people who are thinking about, eh, should I go or can I pass? Absolutely, go check it out. You know, if nothing else, go see what you know. Go see what the fuss is about. Go go see it for yourself and get out there. And there's so much more to the area too beyond just that. I mean, there's Western Maine, Central Maine is incredible. This is a, a tight little movie. It runs about 11 and a half minutes or so. What do you guys hope people will take away from this? That Catan Woods and Waters is a beautiful place to meet, and that uh, these private, or, you know, these sections of wilderness are worth protecting and preserving for future generations, um, especially with them being this area being so remote and kind of quiet. Um, we hope that people get to enjoy that experience that may not have the opportunity to go out and, uh, you know, be submersed in wilderness that uh, you know only a few people get to experience really. Kate, you put the message nicely very near the end of the movie. You simply say, "Get out there and see it for yourself." Exactly. <laughs> As we said, Monumental is a nice compact film, just 11 minutes long. It's kind of refreshing to see a nice film with good nature photography and so forth that doesn't take up too much of your time. Right. Also really interesting that they only ran into two people while out there. You know, I've been thinking about that a lot, and I still can't quite wrap my brain around that. I mean, they were there at a beautiful time of year. September is maybe the best month of the year in Maine. Right. Beautiful right. time of year and there was nobody there. Meanwhile, you can't even like walk through Acadia because it's <coughs> so packed with people, yeah, but. I looked that up today. Three and a half million visitors to Acadia National Park last year. Wow, wow. So, so go check out Katahdin. The wilderness it experience. Looks gorgeous. Without a lot of company, Katahdin Woods and Waters there National Monument. There we go, Monument. there we go. All right, if you'd like to watch that film, by the way, we have a link to it in the 207 section of our website and our mobile app.